Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine and this is It's Just Christine. For today's video, I'm going to be planning for the week of May 1st to the 7th and I'm going to be using this kit from Pink Planner Shop called In Bloom. Um, so I just decided to use this shop because of the vibrant colors. So I decided to use this kit because of the vibrant colors. Um, on May 5th, it is Cinco de Mayo and it's a celebration of kind of like a festival, like a festive uh, holiday in Mexico. This is technically not a um, Cinco de Mayo kit, but I just love the vibrant colors and I think it goes very, very well with um, like the colors that they use in um, Mexico. So anyways, um, like I said, this is the um, full boxes, day covers, and bottom washi. We also have an extra full box here. Uh, we have the patterned um, half boxes and quarter boxes and the solid colors of the half boxes and the quarter boxes some glitter headers down here and appointment labels on top then we have more solid appointment labels here and the monday through sunday box some layering pieces another two full um full boxes and this is the 15 millimeter um, bottom washi here if you wanted to use it or if you have some overlays uh, sorry yeah overlays that you want to use for this kit you can definitely use it and then we have some icons decos and the date dots here so this um kit is or this shop is a printable shop so the kit obviously is a printable um i didn't print all the um files that came in the folder so there is going to be more of like um i guess a skin color hair type in the uh the other files um along with the kit i'm going to be pairing it with this uh hollow overlays sorry underlays and this um this header underlay and i think this is both from sticky essentials but yeah, anyways, if you guys are interested in this, please stay tuned. Okay, um, so for this week, it was a very calm and boring um, week. Nothing much really happened. Um, I'm looking at my planner, my other planner where I put all my stuff. And the only thing that's worth mentioning was the fact that we bought a um, a PS4 this week. Yeah, so basically that is everything that I have for this week and nothing else. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm not really sure what the heck I'm going to be talking about in this spread. Because apparently we didn't do much on that day. I did have a dental appointment on thursday of that week but that's not really anything noteworthy um i didn't have a cavity so that's a bonus um but i really do i mean when i was younger i used to have um cavities left and right like if you look at my x-rays now it's like practically every single tooth i have has a cavity but knock on wood, I never had to pull any teeth out, luckily. Um, oh, except for my wisdom tooth, because like, yeah, I have the unfortunate, um, the unfortunate um, circumstance where my wisdom tooth is impacted, meaning they're under my, um, what do you call that? Under my gums, yeah. So they had to take it out because one, it was starting to bother me. And two, one of it was starting to kind of poke out through my gums. So I'm not really sure what I want to put here as a deco. So I'm just going to leave it for now instead of me kind of like scrambling and looking for something to put there. Um, so I'm going to move on to the um, my... Monday through Sunday box, which I always put in my sidebar to kind of keep tabs on dinner that we had for this week or just dinners that we generally have. Yeah, so like I was saying, I never had to 
get any, um, that's kind of crooked. Uh, I don't really know what I was talking about now. Oh, my wisdom tooth. Yeah, so I had them pulled out, all four of them at the same time. And since I'm such a chicken in terms of like getting dental work done, I, I had to be put down to sleep. <laughs> yeah, so I, that was the first time I've ever had some kind of like, it's like not operation, but like, yeah, I had my, I had to be put to sleep. And it wasn't a fun experience, to be honest. I, I'm, I wasn't supposed to be talking about this in general. Um, but since we've already, I kind of brought it up, might as well finish my story. Um, but yeah, it wasn't very pleasant because um, in order for you to be put to sleep, obviously you have to have IV um, put in. And then through the IV, that's where they put the medication to kind of like put you to sleep. And I don't have very good veins in my arms. So yeah, like um, they had a hard time finding my my veins. Sorry, trigger warning. If you guys are like not really a fond of needles, please be warned. Um, but yeah, so they had to put the IV on my hand. So I mean like my hand is not that great either as you guys can see like you can barely see the veins but it's actually like they thought that maybe they can get here or somewhere but it wasn't a fun experience and I actually lost the feeling on my left hand uh, for a couple of um a couple of weeks actually. If not weeks, it would have probably be months. But this was done so long ago that I totally don't remember. I mean, they did it when I was in my 20s. So, so yeah, but it is what it is. I mean, it's done now. I can, I have feelings back again on my, my hand. But it's just my top part of my hand that I couldn't really feel. Like, I would feel sensation on it. Like, if you pinch it, obviously, I'm going to feel it. But if, like, you pinch it hard, I wouldn't feel how hard it is, if that makes any sense. But, yeah, it was really not a good experience. And I wasn't... I actually had more pain on the um the whole IV process thing on my hand more than I did with the rock recovery of my... um pulling out my wisdom tooth so that goes to show you how painful it was but moving on <laughs> so yeah i had my dental appointment there i just had like you know my regular cleaning i do get my cleaning once every three months um in order to have perfectly good healthy teeth always make sure that you go for your cleaning every three months when we were growing up, we were always taught to go every six months. That is a total lie. <laughs> you should go every three months. Because the buildup does, like, you know, like your the bacteria in your mouth and stuff like that. It does happen very, very fast. And if you're not really, like, fond or floss, of flossing and... um um Flossing and brushing your teeth all the time, then that buildup is going to accumulate and then it's also obviously going to accumulate in under the gums and yeah i'm very knowledgeable in my dental cleaning anyways i was thinking of color blocking for this um week because of the kit that i'm using i can only color block when i'm using uh picture kits like this but to be honest as much as I want to, I'm just really not in the mood to. So I'm just going to plan as is. It's been a couple of weeks now since I last planned. And yeah, I'm a little bit rough around the edges. Sorry, I know this is out of frame, but I could never get these headers straight if I don't do it this way. And frankly, I don't have enough space in my on my table to actually um, plan it properly. I really need to start kind of like fixing my table and probably possibly buying a new um, 
a new, what do you call this, stand for my phone so that I can film properly. If you guys have any suggestions on film equipment or like stand, like I use my phone, so obviously I'm not going to change that. Um, it's just so much easier for me to use my phone than an actual camera. But um, if you guys have like a phone stand that you can recommend or know of that's good, let me know. Because the stand that I have now, it's obviously it works, but I find it such a hindrance now. Um, especially if like my planner is not like a... Um, so right now I have a book bind, um, book bound um, planner and yeah, it just gets in the way of like the stand gets in the way of the planner itself. So yeah, I really am looking for a new stand. It's just when you Google or like, sorry, search on Amazon, like phone stands, like they don't really give you like. They do give you a lot, but they don't give you like a good option, if you guys get what I mean. But yeah. So that's that. And like I mentioned on this week, we also bought a PS5, mind you. My husband and I are both, like we both enjoy playing games. My husband more so than I do um plus he but he plays more on his pc than he does on a ps4 or sorry a ps5 but we we do like having the console just in case like there's a game that we prefer to play on the on the ps5 um as of right now i started playing um ratchet and clank but yeah i haven't even finished it so we bought it in may and it's now Ju july and yeah i haven't really um played with it much since that last week it's in our basement since our tv is um in the basement we obviously had to put it there and i'm not a fan of basements if you know if you guys didn't know I am um I'm a bit of a scaredy cat when it comes to um to the basement. So I'm just gonna put this like this again. And I'm just gonna put the headers for this. Sorry, not the headers, the um the overlays. So this overlay actually has stars in it. And it's very pretty. I think I bought this from the sticky essential because when I was buying overlays or underlays um, from Ro Rose Colored Days, they didn't really have it in in hollow. So I just decided to grab to grab this one from Sticky Essential. And her stuff is actually really good. I don't know if she still sells um, underlays and overlays, but yeah, these ones came from her shop. okay so i don't know yet what to put on top of um these ones since i don't know if i'm gonna go with the glitter headers or i'm gonna do something different i never plan out my planners i just go with the flow and see where it takes me and that's the reason why half of the time it's quite of a mess um okay so i am looking at the bottom washi so I actually have two different kinds. So there's the pink one and then there's the green one. I don't think they're going to both fit. Uh, let me see, actually. Yeah, they're not going to both fit. So I'm going to be going with the green one only because green is my favorite color. And I think it's a gorgeous um, bottom washi. So why not? And then here for the bottom, I'm probably going to grab a Simply Gilded washi and see if I can match something with the, um, the kit. This is a very different type of colors that I use. 
um so i don't really have that much going on in terms of like color matching mm -hmm. yeah sorry i don't really know how to do this i can probably zoom you guys out a bit so like i said this stand is very much of a hindrance in terms of my planning because of the size and the space that's given to me um when i use this stand so definitely i think it needs to be a top priority that i buy a new stand um i'm just starting to be over it right now <laughs> um it should have been like my priority for a while now but i just haven't gotten a chance to kind of like just fully sit down and search for one um yeah, I really need to start looking at other people's setup as well. Um, especially a lot of like our the other planner YouTubers because they would have done their research. And yeah, okay. So I am just putting these underlays. And I was actually, oh, so right now, um, I don't think I'm going to be having a haul for the month of July because like I've mentioned before, I am pretty much, um, I pretty much have all of the kits that I'm going to be using for the summer and I think even for September. And yeah, so I am just now awaiting all the, um, Kind of like the fall kits to roll around. I know Sadie's stickers already came out with some. Um, Miss and Meow also came out with some. Um, I was actually going to purchase from her shop. Miss and Meow's shop. For her most recent release. Like her Taylor Swift um, inspired kits. I just kind of ran out of time. <laughs> I kept saying to myself. Okay. So I, I changed my debit card. Um, or my credit card because someone um, someone basically charged something there that they're not supposed to so I had to change all this information and yada yada and I just never got in a chance to kind of like change all that info on my accounts so yeah whenever I purchase something it's usually or like not purchase but like usually when I go on my um when i shop for kids i usually do it at night or in bed in the middle of like you know like just kind of like vegging and lying down and resting and usually it's like the credit card is saved into my my account but since it's a new card i didn't i just never got a chance to and then i keep forgetting to change it and then i keep forgetting to to kind of like get the number um so yeah <laughs> i get very sidetracked very very fast um it's a really bad habit because i'd be doing one thing and then i'll think about something else and then do that thing so yeah sometimes even though like i know they have a sale going on i know that there is something going on for that week sometimes i tend to forget like even like the next few minutes like if i am not doing it right away i like instantly forget it so unfortunately that's what happened during the sale um yeah i I totally forgot and then by the time I remembered so like every single day I'd be like starting Friday I'm like okay I'll buy it on Saturday and then Saturday rolls around and then I'll be like okay I'll buy it on Sunday and then I'm like shoot I only have Sunday Sunday left and then so I was like okay I have to remember to buy it today and then next thing I know it's like 12 o'clock midnight and I'm like shoot I totally forgot but yeah, I actually, what's really sad is like, so on the week that she had her release, I think it was two weeks ago, um, there was also another 
there was a planner sale. I think it was the ultimate planner sale that went, um, what was, that was going on. And yeah, the, um, I forgot about that sale too. And there was two shops there that I really, really wanted to buy from, but yeah, it is what it is. There was a lot of, um, fall kits that was coming around and yeah, I just kind of like, it just slipped my mind and I was like, I can't do anything about it. So I'm hoping she will have another kind of like mini sale. I'm hoping before the fall, <laughs> before fall rolls around and I can grab those uh, kits from her shop, but we'll see. I'm not really sure what kind of Heather I want to put there. I'm just gonna look at my Okay, so these are all my hollow um, foils. And I'm just going to look for something that will work well with the kit. Um, oh, there you go. Perfect. So I'm going to use Simply Gilded, sorry, not Simply Gilded, Simply Beautiful Plants um, scallop headers. I love her scallop headers and unfortunately she's going on a mat leave and her shop is going to be closed. So I don't even know if she still offer the, offers um, these scallop headers, but they are one of my favorites. Actually, Simply Beautiful Plants has my favorite hollow ever like her hollow is like beautiful like i know you guys can't see it very well but like her hollow is top notch it's one of my favorites definitely so that is the header that i'm using and i think it's very very pretty she has two different varieties um or maybe a couple of different ones now but this one is definitely my favorite because it's very dainty looking and i love how it looks i hope next time maybe she'll offer it in like a uh, trans transparent mat um when she does open her shop i don't know if it's still open um i know she had a sale over a couple of um i don't know if it was last weekend that she had a sale um, like a closing sale so that she can kind of get rid of her inventory and just have, um, and then before she closes it for the, um, for her mat leave. But yeah, so this is basically the setup for this, um, this week for me. I actually noticed something that's different here on the kit. She does have this like kind of like glitter header that's extra so i'm just gonna use that to kind of like use here on sorry at the bottom here and then that way i don't have to worry about looking for looking for a um a washi tape that would go very well with this kit because uh, it's already here so this is what I love about printable shops. You just get so much for your money. I mean, like, you know, obviously the downside is you just have to kind of um, print it yourself. I'm actually going to use another kind of full box here since there is space and there's really nothing else for me to put there except for another full box. So why not? I just don't know if it's going to fit. Oh, well, kind of. I mean, you just can't see the Monday through Sunday of the calendar, which, to be honest, I'm not really that, you know, not really bummed out about it. 
So it is what it is. All right, perfect. So here is the um, layout for the week of May 1st to the 6th. Is that right? No, May, May 1st to the 7th. Wow, what was I thinking about? Um, if you guys enjoyed this, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.